Leeds United 1, Arsenal 4. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> what an amazing performance, man. Well, well, first of all, I'd like to say what an amazing away performance, yeah? Because, like, we've been uh, we've been good at home, but away is, has been where our problems have been this season. Like, to go away and put in that, like, put in that performance, score four goals, it's very good to see, man. So, big up the team for this performance. And uh, in particular, I'd like to big up Gabriel Marinelli, man. What a player, yeah? The, the, the guy went through so much, and he? he went through that long injury last season that kept him out for pretty much, like, the whole year. And then he came back. Didn't really hit the ground running, like, last season. But then now, yeah, he seems to have found his form. Like, the guy is scoring goals. Like, it's so good to see. Got a brace today. The finishes were both lovely. The first goal slapped it top bins, yeah? And then the second goal, wow, what a fucking finish. Like, the chip dink over the keeper goal. It's like, literally, that was amazing stuff, man. And uh, by the way, credit to Granite Xhaka for that lovely through ball to find Martinelli in that space. Um, order for him to score the goal. So, yeah, man. The first half, to be fair, we were all over Leeds. Leeds, yeah, like they're they're the one team that you just love playing because they're going to be so open defensively. Like if, th their defensive setup is a joke, absolute joke. Like Bielsa, yeah. Listen, I know he's he's regarded as one of like the greatest managers and all that stuff, but yo, sometimes you you got to change it up, man. You can't be like leaving your team that wide open at the back every time. You know what I'm saying? Like the way we exploited that was brilliant in that first half, especially scoring two goals and Saka with adding the third goal in. Like, it could have been more than three in that first half. It could have been so much more. That's the only criticism for that first half for me. It could have been more than three. Uh, Saka obviously scored a goal that was deflected. You get me celebrating that corner. And apparently, though, in, at, at half time, yeah, apparently there was some kind of, like, uh, I don't know, racial abuse going on in that corner from the Leeds United supporters to the Arsenal bench, which Rob Holding reported, apparently, in it. Um, if that's the case, well... Yeah, whoever did that, absolutely, literally, like you should, you should be ashamed of yourself. This is, it's a joke, man. Nearly twenty twenty two, you're still racially abusing players. Like, anyways, that's not the point. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, second half came though. How, like, however, the second half came, and we did this thing where we sit back and let invite pressure onto ourselves, which was really annoying. Because, okay, like at the beginning of the second half, we came out, you know, attacking, missed a couple of chances, kept got two corners in a row. We looked to be like on top again, but then Leeds grew into the game, came onto us wave after wave of attack, and then Ben White. I don't that tackle. I don't know what on earth he was doing. Gave away a penalty and, and like literally ruined our clean sheet. So literally, what I'm mad about today is is about the clean sheet that we that we gave up. Should have been another clean sheet for Ramsdale, man. I'm gutted for him. You know, obviously no open play goals conceded, but just to, to concede a goal, period, is annoying. You know. Well, straight after that, Smith Rowe came on. Five minutes, scores a goal. His seventh goal in the Premier League. Smith Rowe, yeah? The guy is going for the golden boot. <laughs> the guy is literally going for the golden boot this season. I don't even care, man. He's now a level on goals with CR7. And Smith Rowe ain't taken no penalties this season. Ronaldo's taken two. That's all I'm saying on that. And uh, yeah, man. Obviously, other standout performance, uh, standout performance today. Gabriel, lovely, so lovely, like solid defensive display from him. Uh, Tomiyasu, to be fair, Tomiyasu didn't start off like well in, this, in, in the first half because he didn't might have much to do defensively. He didn't have much to do at all. Like Leeds weren't really attacking down his side. So I didn't really see him in that, in that first half. But in the second half, I saw him quite a lot. He was getting involved, looked solid defensively again. Um, there was that instance where like he um, defended the ball that came, came across the goal from Leeds. And then he went out, like literally showed great physicality, drew, put it past Stuart Dallas and then drew the foul. Like, unfortunately, though, he did get injured. I hope it's not a serious injury because Tomiyasu is crucial to this team. Crucial, man. I don't want to see him out of the team. And uh, Granite Xhaka in that midfield, he was actually he was, he was actually decent today. Credit to him, you know. Play, he's the one that obviously played that lovely through ball to Mainelli. And he's been, he's been spraying some lovely passes today. Keeping the tempo, keeping the possession. You know, bringing that, like, little, that calmness to the midfield. So, fair play, Xhaka, man. And... Like I, like I said, again, I'm not flip-flopping on Jack. I'm not saying he's the answer. We do need to replace him, obviously, with a much, much better player. But for now, he is showing, he's proving his importance to this team, so fair play. And uh, Martin Odegaard, oh my word, that assist for that um, smith Rowe goal. Jeez, that was lovely. That little dink over for smith Rowe to finish it. Ma Odegaard had a lovely, like, lovely performance today. Lovely playmaking performance by Martin Odegaard. Spraying passes left, right, centre. 
you know, like he, he seemed to have solidified a spot in the starting eleven. But what I, what I want to see from Odegaard is consistency. Yeah. I don't want to be seeing good performances and, and, and then a stinker against Norwich next week. I don't want to be seeing that. Odegaard has to be, be consistent in it. And uh, like Gazette up top didn't score today, but again, he did bring that like that little bit of intensity, that hold up play, the link play that like Gazette always does. The twerking on the defenders, the drawing, the drawing fouls every everywhere on the pitch. Like is it? That's a typical like is it performance right there. Um. So yeah, fair play like is it? Obviously, I still think we need an upgrade on like is it though? Like is it ain't the answer? We need an upgrade on him because yo, like is it looked knackered like in that first half, knackered, bro. I'm just blowing out of his ass. His fitness is kind of dead, and he's and he ain't got that that little bit of like attacking sharpness, that like pace, like the drive. He ain't got that. But Lacazette is doing a good job right now, so fair play to him. Now, finally, on to the, uh, the manager, Mikel Arteta. Picked the same lineup again for the fourth game in a row, and it worked again. Um, I, I, li li listen, yeah, I'm glad he did not drop Martinelli or drop any of the other guys to put in his guy, Smith Rowe. Like, this team, if it, like, like, like the saying says, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. The team ain't broken right now, so there's no need to be like starting other players because... Yeah, it would, not, it would do like uh, it would do bad for the confidence of some players in this team if you decide to drop any of them. So, at the moment, keep the team as it is. And he done that, so fair play. And hopefully we see the same team against Norwich next week. Um, on the Norwich game next week, by the way, am I confident after, after this display tonight? Am I going to go in there with a lot of confidence saying we're going to win that? Um, again, no. <laughs> Listen, like I, I could be saying this for every game this season, Yeah. Just you can just change the name of the team that we're going to play against and just literally replay this clip over and over again. I'm not confident, you know, because listen, Leeds, yeah, as much as they're a good team, Le bro, Leeds, uh, they're they're a shit team as well, you know. Like I've never seen a team so, so like good and bad at the same time as Leeds are. They play the lovely, pretty football, but then they're so wide open at the back. They ship so many goals, man. So what everyone knew that we were going to go to Ellen Road tonight and just ship goals, like. Literally, just score plenty of goals. That, that's literally the most expected thing ever playing against Leeds. Man City put seven past them last week. You know, so it's not really surprising. Norwich, however, they're going to be a much tougher team to break down. And you see the way Norwich played against Man United. Norwich, like, they had Man United kind of pegged back, you know. They were bopping it around them. And Man United had to get a penalty to beat to beat Norwich. So, yeah, Norwich might be a tough game for us too. Because obviously United, they're, they're a better team than us, yeah. And they, they only have to beat Norwich by a pen. So Norwich away, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard one. I'm not gonna go in there with confidence, you know. So yeah, that's you know, that's been my match review, and I'll see you in the next one.